Yeah, so hello everyone. I'm Kwang Wee and I'm a PhD candidate in Iowa State University. So today I would like to talk about the Taguchi design of 3D printable concrete mixtures and investigation into the interlayer properties. So here is the outline for this presentation. So firstly, I will talk about the objectives of this study. Then I will briefly explain what Taguchi method is. Then I will present the test method and results. And lastly, I will talk about the conclusions of this study. So since the 3D printing concrete is relatively new technology in the construction field, so far there is no standard and guideline for mixed proportioning of 3D printable mixtures. Therefore, the first objective is to effectively design the 3D printable motor using the Taguchi method. Then the second objective is to understand the effects of the mixed design factors on the printability. And then the last objective is to investigate the interlayer bond strings of the 3D printed motor. So the Taguchi method was developed by the Dr. Taguchi to control the quality of the product or the process. The Taguchi method is a fractional factorial design using the predefined orthogonal array. The orthogonal array is a table containing the minimum number of combinations of factors based on the number of factors and their levels. In other words, the orthogonal array consists of factors and their columns in the array have the property that in every pair of columns, each of possible ordered pairs of factors appears the same number of times. Then the Taguchi method uses the signal to noise ratio to convert the response to the logarithmic value in order to consider mean and variance at the same time. And the biggest the benefit of the Taguchi method is to reduce the total number of the testing. For example, if there are four factors with four different levels, the total number of combination is 256. However, we use the Taguchi method, the number of testing can be reduced to, to 16 since we are gonna use the L16 orthogonal array. And moreover, we can confirm the order of significance of factors on a response using the ANOVA. And as you can see this table, the Taguchi method has been used in different types of concrete for mixed proportioning. So in this study, we set four different factors, including water to binder ratio, sand to binder ratio, dosage of VMA, and replacement ratio of grout. And each factor has three different levels. And using the statistical software, we chose the L9 orthogonal array, and we developed nine mixes with different combinations of factors. And this left bottom corner figure shows the combination of factors in three axis coordinate system, and all factors are well distributed. And for the materials, we use the type one to cement and the cementitious grout as a binder. And we use the VMA and river sand. And this cementitious grout is commercially available in any markets. And the reason why we use this grout to replace the cement is that it contains a certain amount of accelerator and super plasticizer. So it allows us to save time to adjust the dosage of each material to have a proper rheological properties. And to prepare the motor, at first we did dry mixing for two minutes, then we added the water and VMA, then we stopped the mixer for one minute, then we additionally mixed for three minutes. And since we don't have a pumping system in our 3D printer, we manually added the motor into the extruder. Then we assembled the extruder and attached it on the 3D printer. Then we checked the standard standoff distance and extrusion before starting to the, the designed object. And at first, we measured the flowability using the flow table test, and the spread diameter was used as a flowability in this study. Then we printed two layers, and each layer contains five thread lines. Then based on the visual inspection, we gave a rank to each mix. For example, if the mixture was not extruded at all, we gave rank one to the mix. However, if the mixture was extruded without any defects, we gave rank four to the mix. 
And for the well extruded mixes, we measure the buildability in terms of the deformation. The deformation refers to the differences between the design and the actual sample height. And after we measure the extrudability, we cut the samples into 20 millimeter cubes. Then we measure the compressive strength and interlayer bond strength. And in, in case of the interlayer bond strength, we use the split tensile method to intentionally apply a load on the interlayer. And in addition to the mechanical properties, we conducted a nano indentation on selected mixes. After the extrudability test, we cut the five millimeter thickness slice from the printed layers. And after sli the slice was mounted with epoxy, we polished it to prepare a sample for the nano indentation. And in order to investigate the interlayer properties, we set an area of 60 micrometer in height and 3,000 micrometer in width for the nano indentation in the interlayer area. Since it's difficult to find the exact location of interlayer, so we use the slant area to include a more interlayer area. The total number of indents were set at 300, and each spacing between the in indents was set at the 30 micrometer. After we collected the 300 results, we used the Gaussian mixture model with the expectation maximization method. The purpose of using GMM is to find the distributed subpopulations with the popula population. The basic assumption here is that all distributed subpopulations follow the normal distribution with each mean and standard deviation. Then we use the Bayesian information criterion to find the number of subpopulations, which is K here. So we selected the K based on the lowest BIC value. And here is the test result of the flow table test. So as the water to binder ratio and graph replacement level increased, the flowability was also increased. However, when the send to binder ratio and VMA increased, the flowability was decreased. And as shown in the, this ANOVA table, the water to binder ratio was the most significant factor on the flowability among, among the all factors. Then we measure the extrability of nine mixes by visual inspection. So M4, M7, and M8 were well extruded without any defects. However, in case of M1, although it was extruded, we observed minor surface defects on the surface. Therefore, the rank three was given, and M2, M5, and M9 were not extruded till end. Therefore, we gave rank two the mixes. And lastly, M3 and M6 were not extruded at all. Therefore, rank one was given to them. And as shown in the, this ANOVA table, the send to binder ratio was the most significant factor on the extrability among all the factors. And we measure the buildability of well extruded mixes. And among the four mixes, the M1 showed the best buildability, which means the lowest deformation. And M8 showed the worst buildability. And this slide shows the result of compressive strength at seven day. And among four samples, M1 showed the highest strength, and other three samples showed the similar strength trend. Since M1 had a combination of lowest water to binder ratio and grout to replacement level, that's why the M1 showed the highest strength. Then the interlayer bond strength of samples were measured by the split tensile method. Same as the compressive strength result. M1 showed the highest interlayer bond strength. Actually, we expected that the interlayer bond strength of M1 was much higher than others, but however, it was not. It might be due to the poor extrability. When we see the, the right top corner, we can see the surface images of the, each mixes. And compared to the other mixes, we can observe several surface defects on the surface in M1. And in addition, the strength of M1 was lower than the M7 because the M7 had a lower send to binder ratio 
and grout replacement level than M1, M8. Then we selected the M1 and M8 for the nano indentation. So when we see that the, this color bar, the dark blue means the lower elastic modulus and the red means the higher elastic modulus. And it might be assumed that the red color near 80 or 90 gigapascal corresponds to the elastic modulus of the sand we used. And when we see that this contour mapping of M1 and M8, the sand particle were located near the interlayer area in M8. And this slide shows the result of the indentation using the GMM. And there were four different subpopulations in M1, and there were three subpopulations in M8. And the biggest differences between M1 and M8 is the one subpopulation with the average of 24 gigapascal, which correspond to the high density CSH. Also, the volume fraction of CSH in M1 with, with 69% was higher than M1, M8 with the 56%. Therefore, the interlayer bond strength of M1 was higher than M8, even though M1 had some defects on the interlayer due to the poor extrudability. And here is the conclusions. So using Taguchi method, which is a fractional factory design method, only nine mixes were required to investigate the effects of mixed design factors on the flowability and extrudability. And among nine mixes, four mixes were printable. And among four factors, water to binder ratio and sand to binder ratio was the most significant factor on the flowability and extrability, respectively. And lastly, the CSH content significantly affected the interlayer bond strength of the three printed motor. Also, the poor extrability might have reduced the interlayer bond strength. And right now, more studies on the interlayer properties are in progress. So thank you for your listening.